I'm going to show you how to beat all the Hollow Tactics characters pretty easily with just basic units. So let's start off with Turgle. So in order to get Hollow Tactics, there's a place you just need to go over by Fort Kalen. And uh, there's some person you save. It's a part of a rumor or something. So in order to win this first one, this one is pretty easy. We can just do this one by putting down a Raider Grunt over here on the side. And he should be able to just kill both these guys. So the Raider Grunt or whatever is way stronger than those other melee guys. Uh, and that'll save you a ton of points for the next round relative to how easy this is. If you don't want to save points, you can just put out two of those guys and you win no matter what. Or put one of those guys in a ranged unit or something. All right, now on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to take Raider Veterans. And we're just going to put down three Raider Veterans. And this should just annihilate them. should just steamroll them. All right, so two down already. And wow, complete annihilation. Raider veterans are really strong in this. All right, so that was Turgle. Turgle's really easy. Uh, it's not too hard. You could probably do it with a ton of different combinations of things. All right, so now we're going to do Grease. So Grease is also very, very easy. Once we get to the last ones, there's some luck involved. So we'll see how it goes. Now for this one, we're going to take B1 melee droids and put them here and here because those chicken things start with a charge. And then we're going to take a Raider Veteran, and we're going to put him right over here. Just because we don't want him to get hit by a grenade. We're hoping to bait the grenades out. Uh, we're also going to put one of the droids right here. We just don't want to die to the grenade from the Stormtrooper. If our melee guy dies to that, then we lose. Potentially. Alright, so now it's just this guy and these units, and he should be able to wipe the floor with them. If he has time to get in range of this last one. Alright, and then he wins. It's possible to lose with that, but that's the reason you want to do it risky like that is because it's the first wave. And if you get away with that, you can save eight points for round two, which then makes the rest of this way easier. All right, so for this one, there's a bunch of different ways we could do it. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Purge Trooper Commander, put him there. And then I'm going to take a Raider Veteran and put him over here. And then take uh, B1 Melee Droids and put them right here. And that should be able to just completely clean this up. The Purge Trooper Commander is way stronger than those other ranged units. We just don't want our melee guy to die to those explosions. That's why we put him back. And we put the droids forward in order to bait out the grenade. We just don't want our main guys to die to those grenades. All right. So that leaves us with a bunch of points for the last wave now. That's an extra eight again. All right. Now for this one, we can just use another purge trooper commander. And then we can use raider veterans right here and here. And then put a raider grunt right here. And then put a melee droid here. And this should just annihilate Let Wave 3. Alright, so they're already down one. This guy's getting overwhelmed by melee attacks. He got CC to death. And this guy just gets steamrolled. So Grease is pretty easy. I, I wouldn't worry too much about him. Just use these basic units and he's pretty easy to get through. Alright, and then after that is Tulact. So Tulact's also pretty easy. All right, so for this first one, we can get by with just Raider Veterans right here and here. And that generally should just run this person over on this first wave. Although that one might die to a grenade. Oh, we actually got saved by the CC from the other guy, but it doesn't matter because the other guy would have killed everything then. We just need one of those guys to get in. The only way you could lose is if both those units throw grenades at the same time and both your melee guys both get hit by grenades. Then you could lose, but it's just wave one, so you might as well do it that way. All right, now for this one, we'll put a Purge Trooper Commander in the corner, and we'll take a Raider Veteran, and we'll put him here, and then we'll take a Raider Grunt and put him right here, and that should be enough. Advance. Okay, so they're already down one. Uh, that guy's going to suicide. That's really bad for us, but our Purge Trooper Commander should easily be able to win this 1v1. So that's a pretty consistent way. I, I don't know that I've ever lost that doing it that way. And we get six points carried over to the last wave. All right, so the last wave, we're going to take another Purge Trooper Commander, put him there. We're going to take Raider Veterans, put him there and there, and then take the Melee Droids and put them over there and over there. All right, this should be good enough. The Melee guys alone can probably just kill everything. But if not, the Purge Trooper Commander should finish the job. Although this over here is bad. That's really, really bad that that just happened. 
Okay, but it still worked out because the Raider veterans are really good. It was honestly the worst way that one could have gone, and we still just steamrolled him. All right, so now we got Mare, and now it's starting to get a little bit harder. So we'll see. Uh, once you get past this one, it starts being a little bit of, like, there's a chance you can lose on some of these waves if you do it even the way I show you. So for Mare, the easiest way is just take heavy assault troopers in the corners and then put down um, these melee droids here, here, and here, and right here. And that will get you nine points, and it should stall long enough for your heavy assault troopers to kill everything. Unless you're unlucky. We'll see. It depends. It could go unlucky, but that'll save you nine points. You might as well risk it on the first wave because uh, it's just the first wave. You just click reset if you lose it, but that usually works and carries nine points over the next wave. All right. Now for this one, we're again going to take heavy assault troopers in the corners, but this time we're going to put down a raider veteran in the middle right here, and then we're going to take the melee droids right here and here and here and here, and then we're also going to put a raider grunt in the middle. We're just trying to stall until our heavy gunners kill everything. If this works out, we should have 11 points for wave three. Bonus points. So that guy's going to dive in, which is like the worst thing he could do. But our heavy assault gunners, that baited our heavy assault gunners into going for him first, which then just killed him instantly. All right, so that just leaves us with one guy to kill. And our melee guy, we don't even need our heavy assault troopers. Our melee guy just killed him. Your strategy proved superior. All right, now wave three, if you do it like that, you have a ton of points. Now do not use heavy assault gunners on this guy, heavy assault troopers. They literally don't do damage to this guy. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to either use rocket launcher troops or purge trooper commanders. Uh, I'm just going to go with purge trooper commanders in the corners. And then we're going to take raider veterans like this. And then just a random melee droid just because we have extra room. And this should be able to do this one. Uh, the per trooper commanders actually have one charge shot that will do damage to them. That's really what it comes down to. Just having range units that actually do damage to that is the big trick. And then that guy's actually pathetic. Like, literally pathetic, that, that particular enemy. Alright, so that was Marin. Now we get to Kaij. I don't know if that's even how you say his name. Alright. So for this one, they have rockets in the back, droids in the front, and one droid there. So what we're going to want to do is take a purge trooper commander in the side. And then we're going to want to take uh, melee droids right here and here to eat rocket shots. And we'll go ahead and put them right there. Well, actually, I don't want to put them right there because they'll die in AOE explosions. We're going to put another one right there. Put a raider veteran right there. And then that should be able to do it with 10 points left over. All right, so there goes one rocket. There goes a rocket into nothing. All right, that's good. Working out perfectly. And the reason you want to risk it like that is because it's just the first wave. So if that doesn't work out, just do it again until you get it. And then you get 10 points for the next wave, which that makes the rest of this way easier. All right, so now this guy's a little different because we can't do anything when he has a shield up. So we're going to put two down, two Raider veterans down. We got to get rid of the shield guy. And then after that, what we want is we're going to put down... Um, either a purge trooper commander, or if you want to be risky, we can do the heavy assault trooper in the corner, which is what I'm going to do just for funsies. So this, we just need our guys to get rid of the shield guy, which they're not doing, but they can kind of just win the 1v1 against the one guy anyway. And the shield guy turned his back to my ranged person, so then he just killed them. And so if you get away with that one, which is totally doable, you get 12 points for wave three. So wave three, we can just overkill then. So we can just put down a purge trooper commander here. We can put down heavy assault troops here. And then we can put down three raider veterans in the middle. And this should just annihilate these guys. Okay. So there goes most of their units. That guy's one HP and now he's dead. And now our range units should just annihilate their purge trooper commander. Alright, Kai's pretty easy. Now we're getting to the people who are actually hard, though. So we got three more to go through. And if I can't remember how to do them, then it's going to be weird. So we got Skuva, who we find up the hill from Rambo's Reach Outpost by some water. The mysterious fisherman rumors where you get him from. And then what we're going to do for this one, he has two shields and he has two of the ranged troopers. So the best way to approach this is just to take four of these veterans, and they should just run them over. 
it should be good enough. Those heavy gunners might kill two of them in the start, but we just need to get through the shield, guys. Uh, the heavy gunners can't even kill them with a full wet round, so, like, I don't know that we even needed four, to be honest. We probably could have gotten by with three, but four is, like, guaranteed safe. And that'll still give you eight points for the next wave. I right, know this one, they have a rocket guy, the two grenade guys. So the big thing we're scared of is the grenade guys. So we're going to put down drones like that. And then we're going to put down a heavy assault trooper over here. And then we're going to put down the raider veteran right here. And we're going to put down a raider veteran right here. And this should be good enough. It depends. There's some luck with the rocket and explosives, though. So it, a lot of things could happen here. They just rocketed their own guy, but he went straight for my um, my heavy assault gunner trooper, which was the worst case scenario. But these two melee guys should be able to clean this guy up. So that generally should just win that round. It could probably go wrong, but that generally wins with 11 points carried over, which then gives us an insane number of points for this wave, which then what we can do is we can take purge trooper commander, put him here. We can put a heavy assault trooper here, and then we can take raider veterans and put them right here, and then we can take a raider grunt and put them right over here and then take a melee droid and put them here and we should be able to run over this wave oh i forgot there's four waves whoops i forgot there's four waves we just wasted all our points oh well it'll probably be fine i'll find a way all right, i overkill because i wasted points we definitely didn't need you could have done that with two veterans then the two gunners and it would have been fine well anyway now we have this wave and i have way less points so we're gonna put a purge trooper commander here and then we're going to put a veteran over here and a veteran right here. And then we're going to put down a melee droid right here and a melee droid right here. And uh, I messed up bad. We should have had to just throw down more veterans here. All right, shield guy's gone. Purge trooper commander is going to fire on him. We might be okay. He just stunned my own guy. All right. So this last wave, I should have had way more melee guys. Uh, we should have won that with two more Raider Veterans that wave, but it's fine. Just use less wave ra Raider Veterans on Wave 3 and use more on Wave 4, and it, that we would have the same result. Even just one less on Wave 3 and then one more on Wave 4 would have made that 100% guaranteed. I gotta pay more attention. Okay. Uh, T1 in 8, you find him on the way to Fong Key Cavern by doing the Abandoned Shack quest. So, let's go ahead and do him now. Now, this is where things get way harder suddenly. All right, so for this one, we're going to want a heavy assault trooper in the corner. Or actually, I forgot. This one, I remember now. You can literally throw down two Raider veterans like this, and they pretty much always win with six points left over. It's possible for them to lose. I've never lost them, but there is enough randomness with this, like that, that, you know, they could actually lose. Like, this is a horrifically bad fight, but we're still probably going to win. This is actually the worst fight I've ever seen. And we're still maybe going to win. Our one guy won't even attack. Oh, there we go. That, that was literally the worst one I've ever seen doing that. And we still won. Okay. Six points carried over. Now we get this one. Now this one's a little weird. So for this one, we're going to want to put a heavy assault trooper right here. And we're going to want to put a heavy assault trooper right here. And then we're going to want to put raider veterans... Actually, you know what? We're going to... Yeah, that'll... Mm, okay. Raider veteran there. And then a raider veteran right there. We're actually going to take this guy back. And instead put a raider veteran right there. And that should stall out long enough. We're also going to put a random droid maybe. Nah, let's not put a droid. This should stall out long enough. We just need to stall for the heavy assault trooper. If he goes for our heavy assault trooper, we lose. If that guy goes for the heavy assault trooper, he's dead. Okay, good. We got a melee guy in there. We're good. All right, we win. All right, now it was risky to do it that way. We could put down two heavy assault gunners and it would have been way more guaranteed, but then we have way more points. All right, now this one, we take heavy assault troopers, put them here and here, and then take raider veterans and put them right here and right here and right here, and then put a raider grunt right here. And that should, fingers crossed, it should win. It just depends. If these guys somehow go for the heavy gunners, then we lose. All right, so the heavy assault troopers just annihilated them. We still got a ton of units left. All right, once our melee guy gets in, he wins. So that usually wins that, doing it like that. And now we have the final wave. We're going to throw down all our points. 
All right, so this one, the trick here is to put down melee droids over here and here to absorb the chickens. And then put down heavy assault troopers here and here. And then go over here and take raider veterans. And we're going to put down raider veterans like this and this. And then we're going to take raider grunts. Uh, I guess we'll put down another veteran. We have so many points. We'll put a raider veteran right here. And then take a grunt and put him here and here. And then we have extra points. So I'm just going to go ahead and put down a random... Stormtrooper right here. So it really comes down to the hammer guy. If the hammer guy does the right thing at the beginning, he can kill everybody. But he did not, so now he's totally screwed. Alright, he's gone. Alright, so, you know, this is where it starts being inconsistent. Everything I showed you there should work most of the time. But it's definitely possible to lose still. Just because so many things can happen now at, these, at this point. Because these ones are so much more unbalanced against us. Alright, now for Thule. This person you unlock by beating all the other characters. This is by far the hardest of all the Hollow Tactics opponents. So if I can't remember what I did here, then I'm just going to lose. So for this one, we're going to take a Purge Trooper Commander here. We're going to put down a Raider Veteran right here. And then we're going to take Melee Droids and put them right here and here. And that should be able to do this one. We're just trying to use the the bait out their grenades on the dro drones, yeah, the melee droids, and have our melee guy take out the shield guy. And if things go well like they did there, we'll just farm that wave and have points left over. So that should be an easy first wave. Pretty consistent. I've never lost with that, but I'm, maybe you, you could. I'm sure you could. Okay. That's eight points carried over, which is really important. Now on this one, we're going to take uh, heavy assault troopers here, 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 and here. And then we're going to put down Raider Veterans here, here, and here. And then we're going to take Melee Droids here, 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 and here. And no guarantee here, but this should do the trick with an obscene number of points carried over to the next wave. We see our Melee guys to stall while our Heavy Assault Troopers kill everything. Our Heavy Assault Trooper here is feeding, though. I don't know what the hell that one's doing. Our Heavy Assault Troopers are killing everything. That was the worst luck ever. Our heavy assault troopers were literally just running into melee range, but it worked out just fine. Outstanding. And doing it that way is huge because then you get 16 points carried over, which is a stupid amount of points to carry over. All right, so for this one, we're going to take um, heavy assault troopers in the corners and then purge trooper commanders next to them. And then we're going to take raider veterans here, here, and here. And then we're going to take Raider Grunts in these last three spots, and that leaves us with 10 points for the last wave. And this should be a pretty consistent fight here. But it's possible to lose, I'm sure. Hopefully I don't, because then I'll have to re-record this or something. But yeah, that that's just so much pressure with the melee guys. That Yeah, it's just annihilation. I probably didn't even need nearly that many. I probably could have carried 20 points over to the next wave, but it's risky to do that. But that was annihilation. Complete total annihilation. Now this last one, <laughs> you know, you could just match them and put down your own one of those if you have it. I've never even tried that. Instead, what we'll do though is we'll put heavy assault troops here, here, and here, and then we'll take raider veterans right here and here. Whoops, not that. And then we'll take uh, raider grunts right here, 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 and we'll put one over here. And hopefully this will be enough. Alright, so we're just stalling for our heavy assault troopers to kill him. And they even survived the rocket launchers the Raider veterans do. So, uh, pretty easy fourth round. And that was Thule. And the reward for beating Thule is just nothing more than just a skill point, which is very disappointing. But that was that. That's literally all the opponents, I think. I'm, as far as I'm aware, there's no more opponents, which is really sad. I would love to fight five-star opponents or something, maybe in a DLC someday. But, yeah, that's it. There you go, guys. So if you need help with any of that, now you know how to beat all the opponents in Hollow Tactics in Star Wars Jedi Survivor.